Hello and welcome to a uh, quick, well I don't know how long this is going to take but this is just going to be a video of me talking about the future of the Nintendo Switch. Um, and yeah, so basically if you didn't know, recent, the last, most recent, um, you know, sales for the Nintendo Switch system in Japan came out and for the first time ever it's been uh, surpassed by the PlayStation 5. Now, in my opinion, this could be a factor of a couple of things. Uh, first thing is, Sony could have just gotten more PlayStation 5s in um, stock and then they just, because they were more to buy, people bought more of them. And uh, that could be one reason why. Another reason why it could be just Nintendo are just running out of people to sell the Switch to. Um, and the people say, oh, this is, the big, this is the end of the Switch, this is the end of the Switch. And it's like, not quite. Probably the beginning of the end, but not quite the end yet. Because um, if you also looked at the game sales, you will see that the Nintendo Switch still dominated the game sales. So, the Switch is starting to lag behind in unit sales, but in game sales, it's still king of the hill. Um, not the TV show. I believe that's a, that is actually a uh, phrase, king of the hill, and not just a TV show. Could be wrong, though. Um, or king of the castle, or whatever you want to say. Um, basically, the Switch is still on top in uh, games sales, which is the most important thing about a console like um when you when you do selling a console like sure you can sell a console you're not gonna make and you're not gonna make that much money on it heck for when the ps5 first released sony were losing money on it so you know you can sell consoles but you're not gonna make much money from that the real money that you're gonna make is from the game sales so that's so i so in my opinion games game sales are more important than new than console sales um so yeah so it so the switch is still best when when it comes to game sales so it's not quite the end for the switch yet but i do think it's the beginning of the end at least for this the switch as we know it's like i do think this is you know, hopefully this is going to be a wake-up call to Nintendo. It's like, hey, the Switch hardware, you're, you're running out people to sell the Switch to. The Switch hardware is getting really long in the tooth. It's time for a Switch Pro, uh, Nintendo, new, new Nintendo Switch, whatever you want to call it. Super Switch, um, Switch 2, Electric Boogaloo, whatever. Um... We need Switch 2, and hopefully they are going to switch to a straight up successor to the Switch, because we, they don't need to jump that far. In my opinion, they just need to jump to a upgraded Switch. Now, so, upgraded Switch. Let's talk about an upgraded Switch. What would I like to see in an upgraded Switch as someone who loves my Switch, if you can tell by my channel name, and... Um, but does think it's getting long in the tooth. So, I actually think it would be best if Nintendo doesn't really upgrade the graphical capability of the Switch. Heck, maybe it might be smart to downgrade it and instead of going for, and instead of just trying to shove the, um, you know, biggest, baddest, um, you know, res harder into the next Switch as they can for a good enough price, they should focus on the uh, DLSS technology. Now, if you don't know what DLSS is, it's Deep Learning Super Sampling. And basically, it's an AI code that will take a low-res image texture and can uh, uh, upscale it all the way to 4k and in some cases this looks as good if not better than native 4k um no i don't know 
so I, I, I believe there's two levels of DLSS technology. And I don't know if they're going to, there's like the proper like DLSS, which is, you know, the best, but it's more demanding uh, on the system. Or if they're going to use the one that's not, a, I can't remember the name of it, but there's one that's not as good as DLSS, but um, it's, you know, doesn't, it's not as hardware demanding and probably going to be cheaper to put into this next switch. So might be that. But wouldn't be surprised if they put full on DLSS into it um, instead and then just put like the bare bones graphic card in there. A bare bones graphic card in there just so it can display some graphics for it for the DLSS to upscale or something. Um, you know. Um, Lily's eating his shoe. Lily! Anyway. Um, Next, I think, obviously, they're going to definitely have to, uh, you know, upgrade just about everything else other than the graphics. Like, upgrade, you know, RAM and processing and all that. Like, I'm not a computers guy, so I can't really name all the technical specs and everything. But just upgrade, you know, upgrade the internals. That's not the graphics card. Just make sure, um, so, you know, lower the LSS, handle the graphics the heavy living on, lifting on the graphics end, and just have, um, and then use the money you saved on the uh, graphics card to, um, and then put that money into like a better processor and more RAM and all that. Um, something else I would like to see is, um, well, obviously use the uh, Switch OLED dock, Switch OLED screen, you know, but we're basically just applying these to the Switch OLED. Um, take, we're using Switch OLED as a base for this. Um, and uh, add an external SSD, um, you know, compatibility. Because a lot, about half of the Switch's game sales are digital. And the only storage method we have for the Switch at this point in time for digital games are, are you know, like little uh, SD cards now. I, you can fix this in one or two ways. Add external SSD support, which is probably the preferable way. Or, something else, I don't know if they can do this, but something another way they could possibly do it is have a, um, have like multiple SD card slots on one system. Now, I, again, I don't, I'm not like a hardware guy. I don't know how feasible that is, if they, and like what troubles they, like, come into if I have multiple SD card slots, but if you could do that, then like say you had four and then you get like some cheap 250, four, 250 gigabyte um, SD cards, you then got one terabyte, I believe like one terabyte is 100, um, me not megabyte, gigabytes, wait which one, <laughs> oh, I get gigabytes and megabytes with mixed up sometimes. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure megabytes bigger. Giga, mega. It's not like, anyway, it's not like millimeters and centimeters where millimeters is millions of meat and one millionth of a meter and one centimeter is one cent, one hundredth of a meter. And so I get a bit confused sometimes. Um, so, you know, then you have four of them and you essentially have one terabyte of storage, um, not including what's on the switch, um, and you get that one terabyte of storage for much cheaper than a one terabyte SD card. Um, but I, again, I don't know how feasible that is. Um, and something that uh, um, would be, that I think would be cool, so having having the ability to get have 4G on the switch or 5G or whatever um if that whatever they can like uh deal they can uh, you know come up with like a internet provider for like 5G and all that because the switch is a portable device and um a very popular thing to do nowadays is if a game is too demanding for the switch 
uh, just uh, make it a cloud version. But because but it, uh, you know the Switch is a portable console and you can't play cloud versions without an internet connection. So having Nintendo having uh, you know offering you know 4G for the Switch and like packaging that in with like the Nintendo Switch Online um, expansion pass. That might be cool, or maybe another layer like that that's including like um, expansion pass plus, where you get 4G online on your, you know, on your Switch. You get uh, everything in the like other packs as well, and you also get like uh, GameCube games and uh, the Game Game Boy Advance games. I don't know, just a thought. Um. I just think that would be a good idea. Um, certainly for Nintendo, because uh, um, it's it's not too difficult to run a uh, GameCube one, and really easy to run a Game Boy Advance one, so they'd be able to get them on the Switch fairly easily. And then just, I think the like most um, the most annoying thing would be just getting, um, yeah. The 4G onto the Switch. Again, I, again, I'm not like a technical guy, so I don't know it, if that's entirely possible for Nintendo to do. Well, I, I would imagine it would be fairly... I, if my phone has 5G or 4G um, on it, then I don't see why my Switch cannot also have that. Um, but, yeah. Other than that, I think for the Switch, that is... Pretty much just all that needs really doing, just like add the DLSS, add a you know, you know, bump up the you know processing and everything, and then just add a few quality of life stuff. Like I said, like you know, I, I guess you could also like add like game charts and like, but I, f I feel like game chat would be more like a Switch Two thing rather than a Switch Pro or a Switch on the Switch or whatever. Um. But yeah, tell me what you think. Do you agree with what uh, you know? I said here. Do you think that Nintendo should add these? Do you think Nintendo shouldn't add these? Or do you have any ideas for anything else that would be good for the Switch that wouldn't necessarily be in the Switch? That wouldn't really um, add enough to make it Switch Two. But you know. Anyway, I hope to see you guys in the next. Uh, video live stream whatever I decide to do and bye bye